Good evening, everyone. We welcome all parishioners to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish as your place of worship, faith formation, and of outreach. We welcome all visitors. We depend on your weekly offerings and donations to keep the parish operating. So there are collection boxes, tap machines, parish envelopes, or donations online available for you. Thank you for your continuing support. At this time, would you take a moment to silence your phones? Thank you. Our presider this evening is Father Cecil Critch, and our opening hymn can be found in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 562, O oh, Bless the Lord. Please stand. Bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. Oh, bless the Lord, highest heaven above, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. Let all the earth sing with joy to the Lord of the seas, creatures of the deep, mountains and hills, birds and beasts in the fields. And praise. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome. <coughs> Special welcome to all visitors from near and far. Welcome to this wonderful part of the world and our beautiful summer. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts, to forgive us for the times we have failed to be kind and merciful to others, we ask the Lord's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. God 
God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Shechem and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel. And they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve whether the gods your ancestors served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Then the people answered, Far be it for us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For it is the Lord our God who brought us and our ancestors up from the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery, and who did those great signs in our sight. He protected us along all the way that we went, and among all the peoples through whom we passed. Therefore, we will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. The response to Psalm 34, taste and see that the Lord is good.
feast and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Taste and see that the Lord is good. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Taste and see that the Lord is good. A reading for the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us, and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And Jesus said to the people, very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. When many of his disciples heard this, they said, this teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe, and who was the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted them by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, 
Do you also wish to go away? And Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of everlasting life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. The readings today focus on significant moments of choice in the life of God's people. In the first reading, we see a covenant renewal ceremony that took place at Shechem shortly after the people entered the Promised Land. Now, you know that Moses had died, led his people through the wilderness, but never lived to see the Promised Land. So Joshua led his people into the Promised Land. And he put a fundamental choice before the people to serve the God of their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Moses, or to serve the gods of the people that now they lived among. Joshua was aware that people had already chosen the Lord, but he also knew that their choice of the Lord, like every important choice in life, had to be renewed over again, again and again. While this is cycle B, this is year B of the readings, the year of Mark's Gospel, we have been reading in these past weeks uh, the Gospel of John, the discourse of Jesus on the bread of life. In the Gospel reading today, Jesus also faced his own disciples with a significant choice. Jesus was aware that his disciples had already chosen to follow him, but like Joshua, he also knew that this was a choice the disciples needed to renew over and over again. When he told his disciples that unless you eat of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you shall not have life within you, we are told that many of Jesus' disciples chose to just stop going with him. They walked away because they found his language about that, about the Eucharist, about eating Jesus' flesh and drinking his blood, completely unacceptable. They didn't understand. They took it literally. Jesus did not water down his teaching, though, to make it more acceptable. He turned to his 12 apostles and said to them, What about you? Do you also wish to go away? So Jesus was respecting the freedom of his closest apostles to walk away if they choose to do so. He wanted them to stay faithful to him and to continue believing in him, but he knew that faith in him was a gift that had to be freely accepted. How would the 12 apostles respond to Jesus' question? It was Simon Peter who spoke up on behalf of them all. Again, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. I suppose Jesus must have been very happy by Simon Peter's answer, his, his faith. We can hear the question of Jesus as addressed to each one of us here present. What about you? Do you want to go away too? You know, we became the Lord's disciples when our parents pre presented us for baptism. We didn't have a choice then. We confirmed our baptism for ourselves when we celebrated our confirmation. On that day, we may, for some of us who were older, made our own personal yes, yes to the Lord's call to come to him, to receive him into our lives as the bread of life at our first Holy Communion, to take him as, as our way and our truth and our life. Most of us are cradle Catholics. Our faith was handed down to us as children by our parents or significant adults in our lives. We have no memory of our baptism, and we were taught the knowledge of the faith usually by parents, the church, and for many of us before at the Catholic schools. Somewhere along the line, though, we have had or will have to make a personal choice about our faith. We have to own our faith. We have to say yes to Jesus on our own. It is like the choice which Joshua put to the Jewish people. He told them that the faith of their fathers alone would not do it. They would have to make their own personal commitment to God. So Jesus puts a similar choice to his disciples and to us. It is no longer enough to be born into the Catholic faith. A knowledge of the faith alone won't do much. Do We must also include our experience of our faith. And that will sustain us in hard times, in times when our faith is challenged, when we lose our job or when our clergy fail us or our cherished church buildings are sold or when we experience illness or the death of a loved one. As we go through life, we repeatedly need to confirm our yes for ourselves to follow Jesus. This is especially so when we live in such a secular and a materialistic world today where 
there are less supports for our faith in the Lord and the way of life that flows from our faith. Many people tell me that when they bring up faith, you know, they sometimes get an earful from friends and people. It is said in the Gospel reading that many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him, as many have done in our church. That is certainly true of today, as I said. Jesus and all he stands for has become a forgotten reality for many of our baptized and confirmed Catholics. This makes the Lord's question to us, what about you? Do you want to go away too? All the more timely. Jesus was offering his disciples and us something very precious in today's gospel reading. The words he said that I've spoken to you are spirit and they are life. All he has been saying about himself was the bread of life who alone could satisfy the deepest longings and thirst of our hearts are words that, if responded to in faith, can bring us life to the full as well. Jesus doesn't simply give us the gift of his life in words. He also gives us the gift of his very self. He gave us this gift on the cross, and he renews this gift of himself to us at every Eucharist we come to. At every Mass, we are given the opportunity to say with Simon Peter in the Gospel reading, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe, we, come, we know that you are the Holy One of God. That is one of the reasons why the Church from the earliest times has given such high priority to Sunday Eucharist. It is at the Sunday Eucharist and the Eucharist like tonight that we as individuals and together as community remake the most fundamental choice we make in life the choice Jesus put before his disciples and that Joshua put to the people of Israel. We come here week after week to say yes, to say amen to our choice for Jesus. We choose Jesus. We need to continue choosing him, the one who has chosen to gift us so abundantly out of his love for us. When it comes to remaining faithful to that fundamental choice for Jesus, we are very dependent on each other the support of each other. We need the example of each other's faithfulness. We need people like Joshua and Peter in our lives to lead us, to encourage and support the rest of us. In a way, we are called to be like Joshua and like Peter for each other, to support each other in the living out of our choice for Jesus every day. Our choice, our decision to come to the Eucharist every Sunday is a very concrete way of choosing Jesus and all that he stands for. In that sense, the Eucharist is both the sacrament of the Lord's giving of himself to us and of our personal and communal giving of ourselves to Jesus. Let us stand now and we profess our faith as we pray together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us turn now in great trust in our Heavenly Father to hear and answer all the prayers in our hearts today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Peter, and all of God's people in the Church, that all of us may bring Christ's love to everyone hungry for Jesus, the bread of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our seminarians who will be in formation for the priesthood for our Archdiocese, Chris Quigley, Evan Chafe, and Shane Tucker, that the Holy Spirit may guide them on their journey of discernment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may realize that Christ's presence in the Eucharist is a daily call for us to share Jesus with the poor, the homeless, refugees, and the hungry, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen away from the practice of the Catholic faith, that they may hear the gentle voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them back to be part of the flock he nourishes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in all areas of conflict in our world, Israel and Gaza, Ukraine, Sudan, and Haiti. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show care and respect for the earth, our common home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the power of the risen Christ, the light of God, may bring health and hope to all the sick and to all wounded in body, mind, and spirit. We pray for Kathy Farrell, Father John Aaron, Sister Patrice, Patrice Bourgeois, Sister Roisin Gannon, Sister Constance Power, Yvonne Steiner, Anne Lilly, Chelsea Coombs, Faith Nuna, and Christopher Anthony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved ones who have died, for the recently deceased Kevin Vitch, Randy Snow, Joseph Lake, Joan Edwards, and we pray for our brother John Holden, Barbara Peterson, and Elizabeth Ubley, that they may rest in the peace of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the prayers and the quiet of your hearts today, your own intention. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. And we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our bread of life, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Our hymn for the preparation of the gifts can be found in Celebrate in Song 6.40 faith and truth and life bestowing 6.40 my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray, O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered for all. Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through your word and your spirit, you called all things into being, that your love might be reflected in the vastness of the universe, in the bounty of land and sea, and in the diversity of people who bear your image. Yet your gifts of nature did not exhaust your goodness, for the fullness of your love was only revealed when you sent your only begotten Son for our salvation and poured out your Holy Spirit to gather us into one as your own. And therefore, with the great company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrimage church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family we have, you have summoned here before you today. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you from this life, after passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. baptized children in the family of God, we pray now in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share the peace of Christ now with one another. Thank you. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now ready that you should enter into my world. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people from the side sections come to Holy Communion first. And if you are unable to receive Holy Communion, you may come forward for a blessing. Thank you. Our communion hymn, 6.6 .6 in Celebrate in Song, One Love Released, 6.6. .6. One. 
one bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, present in us all, one prayer, one blessing. this bread we share, the body of our Lord. Is not this wine we drink, the blood of Christ outpoured? One bread, one body, one cup, one spirit present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people. a few bulletin announcements to please pick up a copy of the bulletin appreciate that sacramental preparation will be beginning so registration is ongoing for children's baptism of children's preparation for holy eucharist and for first confession and confirmation next year so we do have some registration forms on the side doors if you if you don't want, it's also online, but there are some at the side doors and the back door, their registration forms. The religious article store uh, has moved to the parish office now. So drop in and check out any the new inventory in the lobby of the office. So we have a large number of Bibles, crucifixes, rosaries, gifts, statues, etc. So come and, uh, come and visit the store, which is in the uh, parish office. I'd like to thank the BCBs, the Basilica Community Builders,
because the first class teas that were available during the summer, Thursdays in the summer, was a fantastic job. A lot of work was done and appreciate the, uh, that whole endeavor. I'd like to thank uh, Kay Barrington and her team for a wonderful initiative this year. Mark your calendars, of course, on the back page there. Mark, there's various events happening in the fall from uh, our finance people and those who help uh, build spirit in, the school, in this church. And uh, if there's a flipper chicken dinner on October 24th and a bake sale later in the fall on November 30th. So uh, if you can be part of that or support those events, uh, thank you very much. The Center for Life, of course, uh, our pro-life group, the walk, there's a Walk for Life Family Fun Day at nine from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the in September 7th. Uh, so for the walk, there are sponsor sheets. If you'd like to take some, the sponsor seats at the doors. Uh, for those, there'll be also after the walk, there will be uh, games and face painting, and live music, and a barbecue and all that to uh, celebrate that day. So the Walk for Life and Family Fun Day is going to be at Divine Mercy Parish, uh, where St. Paul's is on September the 7th. And thank you for your gifts of school supplies, our donations, our annual back to school supply drive for the poor kids in our city. So thank you for any school supplies. You can put them in the baskets in the back and the side church when you come back uh, next week, hopefully, or the week after. We'll have a couple of more weeks uh, when school starts to get donations of school supplies. So thank you very much for all of that. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn number 644 in the Catholic Book of Worship. O oh God, our help in ages past, 644. Sure.